Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the heartbeat sensor known as KY039. This is a module itself, so let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy, they can be shipped worldwide, so don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board one infrared LED, one photodiode and two resistors, resistor R1 and resistor R2. Resistor R1 used in this module is 10 kilo ohms and resistor R2 is 330 ohms. The main reason for using the resistors is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent current from burning our module. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensors itself. And of course the resistor R1 and the resistor R2. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in black the flow of the ground. We have in red the flow of the voltage. And of course we have in green the flow of the signal. This module it is used to detect the heart rate. To be honest this module is not very accurate. The infrared LED will emit the infrared lights which most of them are absorbed by the blood and some of them will pass through. The infrared lights that will pass through will be captured by the photodiode which then will give an analog signal based on the amount of the infrared light captured. Blood in the arteries absorb light better than the surrounding body tissues, so as arteries contact and swell in response to the pulsating blood pressure, the intensity of the reflected light rises and falls. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with a minus sign, the voltage pin is in the middle and of course we have the pin of the signal with the S sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives an analog signal so we can connect the pin of the signal with any analog port of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today, if you like the video hit that like button, if you want more videos like this one hit that subscribe button with the bell icon so you'll be notified for every video, we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription, don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.